This is Europa, a moon of Jupiter. It has a most incredible surface. Speculation as to its surface composition has included ice, slushy ice, and, well, whatever. It doesn't look like ice to me. I don't think ice pushes up ridges like these, but there you go. Whatever it is, the mineral cracks and spreads as Europa grows. This is the latest photo that NASA has supplied to us on the Internet. See that gash down the middle? It's a tectonic spread. Actually, NASA seems to think so, too, which is, yes, a surprise. Let me show you why a spread is the only proper description for what you see here. First, some small cracks happen more currently than the big spread, so we'll put X's on them to mark them. We know they're newer because they invaded the spread here, 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 and here. The rest of the cracks are older than the spread. I've asked Zia to cut up one side of the spread. Thanks, Zia. Now we'll move this side over to the other side and swing the bottom over. Good. All these sides match exactly, so much so, that the line that defines the crack disappears. I think anyone can see this clearly. Here's another crack. The land spread up to the right, so let's bring it down and left. There. I believe this is ongoing eruptive silicate growth from the moon's inside. If this isn't growth of this moon, where is this material going? Maybe it's subducting. <laughs> kidding. Can you spot the break now? No, it's here. Isn't that incredible? The surface area here has been reduced by one quarter or more, and it happens all over this moon. When I saw this photo, I bet myself that the area on the lower right-hand side matched its opposite surface on the upper left-hand side. So let's try it. You can do this experiment yourself using the same photos from NASA. This moon, just like all moons, and all planets, and all suns, and our whole universe, is growing 